Havana, capital of Cuba, Caribbean metropolis that for many decades has been so little loved and so badly neglected. As early as 1553, the Spanish conquistadors chose Havana's harbor as a rendezvous for ships that traded gold and silver within its colonies. To protect this gateway to the new world from attack by looters, several forts were built. Thus, Cuba's oldest fortress complex originated, the Castello El Moro. It took 21 years to build this impressive fortification. Museum exhibits are a reminder that on the 29th of October 1492, Christopher Columbus landed on the north coast, on the island of Cuba, a contraction of the Indian name Kubanakan. They even had emergency food supplies. Founded in 1515, the Spanish conquerors named the settlement San Cristobal de la Habana. During the 16th century, this royal fortification with moat and drawbridge was the residence of the Spanish rulers. This mighty fortification represents the second oldest bastion in South America. The original population consisted of 40 Spanish families, 120 free Indians and 200 black slaves. The town, which lies in a natural harbour with a 200 metre wide entrance, soon became more important than the island's capital Santiago. As standards of living increased, pirates and buccaneers came here and repeatedly destroyed parts of the growing town. But each time they did so, the town was rebuilt and improved. In a most beautiful colonial square, the Plaza de Armas, and in front of a small shrine, an old caiba tree still grows under which the founding of the town was celebrated. Everything has been renovated and some things have been transformed, such as the Duke of Santovenia's palace that is now the luxurious Santa Isabel Hotel. The freedom fighter Carlos Cespedes glances across to the Segundo Cabo Palace that was built for the colony's highest ranking government officials. Immediately next to it, is the splendidly renovated late baroque Palacio de las Capitanos Generales that today houses the city museum. In the shaded inner courtyard, a statue recalls the explorer Christopher Columbus. Here, there are valuable paintings and old coaches. The longtime companion of the conquistador Hernán de Soto waited in vain for his return. She was called Giraldilla. On display in numerous rooms, there are extensive collections of furnishings of this long forgotten time. The Lion Fountain is the focal point of the Plaza de San Francisco. The Basilica and adjoining Monastery of San Francisco de Assis form one side of the square. 
For many years, this church was the most modern and elegant in the city. Today, it is used as a museum and concert hall. Because the town had become so cramped, in the 16th century there was an attempt to expand it with the Plaza Vieja, the old square. The old city palaces around the plaza have constantly been rescued from ruin and still exist in their original form. Many houses in Habana Vieja originate from the days of Neo-Baroque, which is signified by portals, marble floors and pillared walkways. Those who walk in the steps of the old lady will notice, however, that she has come of age. Her makeup is crumbling. World-weary, she sleeps. The oldest churches in the city was built in 1638 by black slaves who had bought their freedom, the Iglesia Espiritu Santi. Under King Charles III, the persecuted sought asylum here. Next to the altar is the stone gravestone of Peter Geronimo de Value, who fought strongly on the side of the poor and underprivileged. His protective hand led the slaves. Old tombs are on view in the crypt. The cathedral is located in the most beautiful historic square in the heart of the old town. Originally, the construction of a missionary church on a drained swamp was instigated by the Jesuits. The transepts and the baroque facades were added later. The cathedral remained unchanged for centuries. The remains of Christopher Columbus lay here from 1796 until 1898. The Spaniards returned them to Seville at the end of their colonial reign, but they were later taken to Santo Domingo. Havana, a city whose riches once seemed boundless, now rests in sleepy magic waits to be discovered once again.